Today is the 5th of January and I'm taking a look at the pound Australian dollar and a monthly time frame using Serene Education's FX Ultimate Edge strategy. Here you can see by our matrix box it is primarily red so we know that we should be looking for selling opportunities. On the monthly time frame we've got a red arrow, a red candle, RMO is below and RMO is below but dark showing a slowdown in momentum because we've seen a bit of a pullback against the major trend to the downside. So we know straight away we have got a support level, you can see it was a previous resistance level back in 2011 and that the current monthly candle is now trading lower than that previous month's close so we could be finding a resistance there. Let's drop down onto the weekly and what we're going to be doing is looking for continuations to the downside. The current weekly candle is trading lower than the previous week's close and we can see that it's hanging around that 20 day moving average. We've got a blue arrow, red candle, RMO is below and RMA is above but dark showing a slowdown in momentum of that pullback. So the FX2 part of the strategy on this weekly time frame is not set up, but looking at price action in itself, the current weekly candle is engulfing the previous week's candles of and, and trading ranges as well. So let's drop down now onto a daily and see if we can get that continuation and that strategy coming right. We've got a red arrow, red candle, RMO is just dropped below, and RMA is below and bright. So the FX2 part of the strategy is set up. What we are seeing though, however, is price trading directly into that 50 day moving average, which was also a previous support and resistance level. So daily traders will be waiting for a daily close lower in that 50 day moving average for a continuation to the downside. Let's drop down onto a four hourly time frame for more intraday traders, see what we can see from this time frame. And we've seen a breakout below that 200 day moving average, a pullback to test it, and now we're getting that momentum coming back into the downside. We've got a red arrow. A red candle, RMO is below and RMA is below and we can see it's just switching to bright telling us that momentum is starting to come in. It's flashing from uh, bright to dark and it's on a level of support. So straight away we know that we are waiting for a close lower. So a candle close lower than 1.6852 around about that level and we could be targeting a big amount here. Let's have a look and see. It's around about 833 pips. Obviously there will be further targets in between those levels but best to be patient let's wait for a nice breakout and close to the downside and we could get some nice trades and continuations here another one definitely to put on your watch list